I guess let me show you how to do the real part of one over z squared. Will this help you? I hope so. I'm going to show you all the steps. The rest is up to you. I don't know what you know or not already. Okay, just keep that in mind. Or how hard you are willing to push yourself to figure things out. But is there a real part? Okay. Let's just... It's going to take a lot of space. So you got to position stuff carefully. So it's going to give you 1 over x plus y i quantity squared. You begin with that step. You play a z with the x plus y i. And you have... It's, you got to expand. You know, maybe I should make some notes here along the way. They, they may help you. Or not again. I don't know. Everybody's different. So you expand here. Specifically, when I say expand, expand and bottom. That's what I mean, okay? It means foil out. So you have x squared and then plus, very carefully, 2xyi and then plus yi quantity squared. Squared. And now what you want to do is apply this fact. Remember that i squared is equal to negative 1. So you go to that. 1 equals x squared plus 2xyi and then plus y squared and you replace i. It's really i squared over here when you distribute the 2 over. So it's going to be like negative 1 at this stage. So multiply this out. What I mean is now, remember, y squared times negative 1 will give you negative y squared as a term. So you apply it. 1 over x squared plus 2xyi minus y squared. At this point, let's do this. So regroup. What I mean is you're going to have 1 over x squared minus y squared. Look very carefully. 2xyi. So what I'm doing is I'm putting these together and I'm putting these together right here. Well, the goal, let's keep the goal in mind. So what's the goal? The goal is to get a number of the form A plus BI. Okay, so that's the imaginary and real part and I is a complex unit. We need that. We don't have that right now. What we have is a division where the I is in the denominator. So this is not the form. So you continue down below. So what we do is multiply by conjugate conjugates bottom okay so you can have one over and then x squared minus y squared plus 2xyi and you multiply by following x squared minus y squared minus see that that's a negative there 2xyi and you divide that by oops you see i overshot one sec so there's x squared minus y squared minus again minus 2xyi. This is of the pattern a plus b multiplying a minus b. What does that equal, if you recall that pattern? That's equal to the following. Let me just scoot this over though, because I gotta make sure it fits. Picking cameras in a way. One sec. Okay. So it's gonna give you here a squared minus b squared, like that. The numerator is the yellow part, x squared minus y squared minus 2xyi multiplying 1. That doesn't change anything. So you have just x squared minus y squared minus 2xyi divided by and the bottom that's where you apply the difference of squares pattern if you like to stress that maybe you can close within brackets here and then likewise enclose within brackets in the bottom it looks like that and then the pattern perhaps becomes more visible in other words this is a this is b this is a and this is b in terms of the difference of squares pattern if you have to do that then you label things for yourself in more detail Okay, let me punch down the line now because it's not going to fit. Let's continue. So when I do that, I'll have... Okay, let's try it one more time. x squared minus y squared squared minus 2xyi quantity squared. That's where the difference of squares pattern is being applied. So then you continue here. You're going to have x squared minus y squared minus 2xyi in the bottom. So... For now, I'm just going to keep this as x squared minus y squared quantity squared. Or you could expand that at this point. It's a little bit arbitrary. Minus 4. And then x squared, y squared, and then i squared. And I should expand this because I just distributed the 2 over to each factor here. So I should expand this one at the same time. Let me do that now. So I'll have x squared squared minus 2 x squared, y squared, and then... What's at the end? Plus, essentially, right? Because it's going to be by foil. Negative y squared squared is going to give you a positive y to the fourth. Like that at the very end. And bottom, what do you have to do? That's actually quite a lot. So you got to, okay, so that means usually, let's see, combine like terms. That's what it means. Okay, so let's do that in the bottom now. And keep the top for now. So x squared minus y squared minus 2xyi. And then you have x to the fourth minus 2x squared y squared. 
plus y to the fourth and then minus 4x squared y squared and then again that's going to become negative one one more time right here see this part that's going to become negative one one more time okay let's see so you're going to have here x squared minus y squared minus 6yi going to be x to the fourth okay minus 2 uh, 2x squared y squared plus y to the fourth and then plus 4x squared y squared okay let me review my work so i don't miss anything and then you know i should separate this uh, a little bit give me a sec so then you continue you have x squared minus y squared especially if you want to show every time you step now what happens over here look this is positive for x squared y squared well, what the heck is this here a negative to x squared y squared so the point is that this is y squared and what is this this is y squared this is let's make that one a bold or something a green too x squared and this is also what x squared that means you just combine the coefficients so that's going to give you in the bottom x to the fourth plus 2x squared y squared and then plus y raised to the fourth that expression on the bottom can be cleaned up a little bit so x squared minus y squared minus 2xyi let's see so that's going to give you then hmm. so i'm going to say x squared plus y squared squared what did i just do here well look if i foil this one out x squared squared becomes x to the fourth so that's going to generate this term right here look at them carefully by foil because you're expanding with this uh, relative to let's say to this thing too correct then you have x squared times y squared doubled so that generates this term right here and at the end you have y squared squared that generates this term right here now what you can do is you separate this as follows into the real and imaginary parts x squared minus y squared over x squared plus y squared squared and then minus 2xyi divided by x squared plus y squared and then quantity squared okay review our work this is what we want so this is one thing with the minus so i should include the minus and then this is something else so let's write it down now, in other words so the real part of 1 over z squared essentially ends up being x squared minus y squared divided by x squared plus y squared quant all of that squared the imaginary part of that same one over z squared that's equal to the negative 2xy okay and then this x squared plus y squared and then quantity squared that's how you do this i'm not sure that i can show you all the work from top to bottom i'll try uh, but then it gets a little bit smaller one second here I hope you can still see this, but this is pretty much everything from top to bottom, I believe, with comments. If a like if this is helpful.